Welcome to our first session of the 2013 two-year-old in training videos. I'm Harold Howe. Today we're at Bay Karen Training Center We're kicking off our program. Uh, for the next oh, probably six to eight weeks we'll be following the action around the province and uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, first two-year-old in training report. We're here with John Copas, Bay Karen Training Center. John, hard to believe it's that time again. I mean, it's been a year since we crucified your last slot, so we might as well take a go at this one. You've got nine two-year-olds, and we're going to look at half a dozen of them today. First group, we've got a set of trotting fillies. Let's talk about uh, Miss Altville, a cadabra filly. She's a filly that uh, uh, Max Hamp, Lyndon Wells, and I raised. Uh, we owned uh, Keystone Betty and uh, raised her uh, very lightly at two. Uh, and uh, brought her back as a three-year-old. She took her mark of 56 on, and then unfortunately broke a, a sesamoid, but uh, showed us enough uh, ability that we thought we'd keep her and, and breed her. And this is her first foal, and we're, you know, quite happy with her at this point. Okay, in this set, though, you're on Tara Sealster, another cadaver filly. Yes, that's a filly I bought uh, at the Forest City Yearling Sale for Brad Grant. Uh, we paid, uh, or I should say he paid 75000 for her, and she's a half-sister to Travers Sealster. And she's she's a very, very nice filly up to this point as well. And Fire Cloud, a mutineer filly, is the third one in that side. Yeah, and I've got uh, uh, no complaints about her either. She's sensible, great gait, uh, and uh, Windback Farms owns her. And uh, so I'm, you know, I'm quite delighted with the three of them. With the closure of the backstretch at Mohawk, this is your first winter anywhere else and it turned out you picked Bay Cairn. Any difference? Oh I like it. it it's unbelievable. Uh, the setup here, the barns are far superior of course to the ones we had at Mohawk. Uh, the proximity to the track, you, I mean it's unbelievable how much time you save. And uh, Terry uh, who uh, operates the place for Pat uh, has done a tremendous job. We, we haven't missed a day yet uh, due to the track condition. Right. Another thing, we got all this uncertainty in racing. <laughs> Nobody knows when the sire stakes or if the sire stakes for sure going to go or how it's going to go. Do you just block all that out of your head and just carry on like normal? You pretty much have to, Harold. And, and as you know from the from the very beginning, I've been optimistic about our future, and uh, I still am in spite of everything that's going on. I think. Uh, you know, there were some changes we should have made ourselves during the 12-year period that we had the uh, had the program, and uh, now we're going to be forced to do so. And uh, uh, like I said, I'm I'm very optimistic yet. Okay, come over to pacing fillies. We've got a threesome, badly inclined, a Badlands Hanover that you're on. Yes, this is a filly that Al Saul raised. Uh, Jim Bullock and uh, Lyndon Wells uh, bought into her with Al, and uh, she's. Uh, Quite a well-bred filly on the dam side, and uh, great gait, great attitude. You've got a filly here from the first crop of Major in Art, Major Missy. Yeah, I'm I'm quite pleased with her. Uh, uh, Jim bought her over at the uh, Flamborough sale, and uh, she's out of a, a mare that uh, Jim uh, used to be involved with. And as a matter of fact, her second dam I raced, and uh, uh, she's by far the best-looking filly out of that family. Uh, so far, and uh, I have, you know, uh, I'm optimistic about her uh, her chances. And runway model is your last one, a cl classic card shark filling. Yeah, it, from his first crop, and uh, I don't know how many mares he bred, uh, but if this filly's any indication, uh, uh, they could be pretty damn nice horses. I mean, she, she's got a good gait, good attitude, uh, size. And of course, you know, he was a brother to, uh, <laughs> I can't say his name. Oh, Roll with Joe. Yeah, yes. Roll with Joe, right. right. We're doing this uh, here on a Monday morning, the last week of February. Roughly what range have you been with all yours? I've been uh, out here on this track. I've been in 250 with both the trotters and the pacers. And uh, uh, so far, uh, as far as I can tell, there's about a 10-second differential between here and what we used to train on at Mohawk. Okay. All right, well, good luck through the winter, and uh, hope we don't put the hex on you, John. <laughs> yeah, like you have every other time. Thanks. Okay. Harold Howe with John Kofus, two-year-olds in training.